Hello everyone, welcome to Outdoors Plays Pacific Drive. I must have accidentally stopped the recording because it hasn't been recording this entire time. But don't worry, all you missed was a trip to the since the basic zone, and apparently I've already damaged my uh, front here. Mostly what you've missed is me upgrading stuff. I've got a new trunk in the trunk. Uh, I've because I upgraded that, I removed the side stories, put that battery there. The side lights here. Just wait till you see what they look like. It's ludicrous. Um, and I've unlocked a couple of things that I wanted to unlock, which is why I went to get the basic limb in the first place. And now we're on our way to zone two. We've gone along the highway to uh, this spot in zone one, so we're going to get some more limb here because it's easy peasy. There's a cassette to find, so I'm glad that you're here. We, you, uh, you didn't miss any lore, except for a little bit of tardigrade lore on the facts. Um, but, you know, if I've if I accidentally stop the recording after that, then I'll show you. Um, but that, that tardigrade law is going deep. They started spelling letters, apparently. Or at least it looks like they have. So um, I guess we'll see what's up with that when the time comes. We know about this switchback. So uh, we're fairly safe over here. Just to be a bit careful. We're a heavy car. Um, I have learned one thing that is important to me to note is that if you go fast enough your wind machine will charge your batteries so the wind of your passage is sufficient to charge your batteries at about 50 miles an hour it's really good at 60 miles an hour so if you're going downhill straight like you are when you leave the shop uh, your batteries charge really well unfortunately when you've left the shop you don't really need them uh, so this is why I put a floodlight on, but of course normally I'm on the other side, so it doesn't matter. Uh, there's fuel... Oh, never mind. And I did bring a liberator this time, so if we do find any um, armoured panels or anything that we like, we can actually steal them for once. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to... Since I missed recording what those floodlights look like, I'm, I'm going to sort of let you hang on to the anticipation of that. I'm not going to show you when I don't need them. I'm going to wait until I need them and then I'm going to show you. Ah, yes. I also learned that you can throw the bunnies that stick to your car, you can throw them at metal structures and they'll stick to that. So that's fun. Not only can you make the, uh, the, the abductors play with them, but you can just yeet them at a silo. <laughs> they'll just stay there. Oh dear, I think I'm... Hang on. Oh, that's still down, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Don't think I'm liable to miss. I'm, just, I'm not going to jump down recklessly this time. Just try and persi per 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 persist ourselves. Per persevere ourselves. Per that, that word has just completely deleted itself from my brain. Oh, speaking of them. Look, bunnies, right? Bunnies. Yeah. And then. Bye. And then, do it again? I think so. And then you should be able to just stick them to this. Yeet. <laughs> Have fun. Other things I unlocked include the blowtorch, but that's expensive. One reason I wanted to go through the direction I am going is that I'd like to get some more marsh eggs. I basically need a lot of resources from zone 2. So I've chosen a route, which I can show you when we get out of here, um, that will get us to zone 2. And then we can go again to zone 2, and then we can go again again to zone 2. So it's, we're going to make a highway to the danger zone. Uh, and then revisit that highway and hopefully collect a lot of marsh eggs. So uh, we could, for example, light this up. The reason I put the floodlights on the right-hand side is that I'm often on the right-hand side. All right, you ready for this? We don't need it, but I'm going to show you. Look at the state of this. <laughs> it uses battery like you would never believe. But look at this floodlight. That is an insane amount of available illumination. And... This should charge us up again. I also unlocked a little couple of things for ourselves um, of our equipment. 
So what's happening now? Uh... <laughs> I think that might be what one of the things that was happening. Do you know when, remember a few episodes ago when there was just random explosions going off all over the place? I think something like that might have been happening. Um, so yeah, at great expense to our battery, we get that much floodlight. Please light this thing. Why can't I light this thing? I can throw it. Can you not light it in? Yikes! Now I can light it. <laughs> Fine. Maybe those things don't let you light it when you're too close to them. I've never noticed that before, but that was a really weird fun, fun ability. Available also um, to us is the next level up of this smashy up machine, so... We might benefit from that. Yeah, I know. Danger, danger. And we learned... I put the arc dock finally. Um, I discovered... I noticed... I, I told you this, but you weren't here. Uh, I discovered slash noticed that the arc dock is in fact a... Um, this is a car ability. So I put it on control here. What it does is, again, for a ridiculous amount of energy, as you hold it down, it just heals you. But look how much it used. It's insane. Uh, we're going over there to look for the cassette. I can hear it. That's good. I can hear that. There it is. There it is. We listen to it while we're here? Let's. The press coverage of Lynn technology is bright. Oh, you have to take a photo before you. First. Okay. In the decade between 1955 and 1965, Lynn is called many things. The promise of the future. The herald of a new age. The never spoken of again. You don't have to dig very deep for the gaps in the story to emerge. The presidential demonstration is the only physical proof we ever see of it. Compared to the Manhattan Project, developed under an airtight shroud of secrecy, why was Lynn paraded around in the papers? And if it really was the technological quantum leap to answer all our wildest dreams, why did it blink out of existence? The story of Lynn technology is one hell of a maze, and the key to it is a woman named Dr. Ophelia Turner. Did Ophelia I've spoken Turner, to her. By She's not that great. a failed physicist as far as her public record goes, truly invent Lynn technology? Or was she held up as a Rosie the Riveter for the Cold War? An atomic Annie to excite the masses during the no-holds-barred race against the Soviet Union? Was she a myth, martyr, a monster? A figment of the imagination? True savior? Or convenient scapegoat? I'm Chiaki Sarahashi, and in this nine-part series, I aim to find out. That sounds like the first section. Like, don't, um... Don't get it twisted, we're not making a gate here. That boot closing noise is so viscerally perfect. And the fact that it bashes you on the head if you do it wrong. <laughs> it's extremely good, okay? We like it. I like it a lot. We need to make a new smash it up spinner. I don't need to. I've got so much stuff. Maybe I just don't. Um, get back on the road and leave, I guess. Uh-oh. Thought I was going to be um, left-righted there. So I guess you've missed a lot, so I'm going to have to play even more or have a shorter episode. Um, both of which I guess are fine. Uh, I did a whole a whole trip to get stuff, and you missed it. So now I guess my job is to fill it in a bit more. So when we get to the end, we'll see where we go in, <clears throat> and I can fill you in on the missed unlocks, which are not that great. There's a 
slightly better vacuum cleaner. There's a new locker. I uh, built a new locker. Uh, I couldn't remember the name of it, so I called it Big Metal Folder that you can put things in. And then, uh, oh, obviously, I, I reinstalled, or well, installed in the first place, my side floodlights. Um, <clears throat> basically, unlocked this one, I think. <coughs> or this one? I don't know. Uh, we go in here. So the goal is we're going up here. I could have gone here and then straight to there, but then each time it's here, here, here. Um, which is going to have a random encounter in the middle, right? So that's going to be a random encounter and the highway and the town all in zone 1. Or we could have the random encounter probably in zone 1 and then the highway and the town in zone 2. So we're more likely to get the limb that we need. Rest stop. <clears throat> Water makes your car more conductive. Did you know that? Extreme conditions? Bit rude. What zone are we in? This is an interesting shaped space, isn't it? Oh yeah, fuel evaporation. I didn't like that very much. We might have to invest in a better fuel tank. Or, or do that thing where we know where we're going, so we pick our stuff accordingly. This is definitely zone two, so we're gonna have to have. Keep your eyes peeled. We want marsh eggs, okay? This is a weird part of the road, huh? <coughs> Calls it a rest stop, but look, what is this? Is this a rest stop now? It looks like a military bunker. What does this say? Construction site. Restricted government area. It blinking is. Alright, I'm going to turn the engine off this time. Let's have a look around. Kind of interested in what's up there. Oh, it's just one of these normal watchtowers that we see loads of, right? Uh, we need a zappy. Okay. Do you think fuel evaporation is literally fuel evaporation, or do you think it is um, more along the lines of? It just drains faster. Like if we're not, if the engine's off, which I've turned it off because of fuel evaporation, do you think it evaporates anyway? That's my question there. Oh, I didn't make a thing. Uh, steel plates into electronics is almost useful. There's an unfriendly dumpster over there. Whoa. The size of that dumpster pill. And it's electric. Wonder what's in that. It's worrying. This one should let us in if we do this. Hello. There better be good stuff in here. I'm putting a lot of effort into getting into these places. The dumpster pill should have been on this side of that door, right? Because that's where the difficulty is. What's on this side? Okay. We're outside. Okay, fine. Uh, hmm. Presumably fuel evaporation does not apply to my fuel canisters, at least. That would be a bit rude. Okay. This place was mildly disappointing. Oh, a check. Hang on. I haven't looked at these yet. Circuit gate. Don't you mind it? Guess we'll learn about that. It must be a type of checkpoint. That's fine. Should we go through it? I'm not sure. It's <laughs> a good question. We left the lights on, by the way. Might have to charge our batteries. I think that our fuel was fine um, when it was switched off, so we'll just be aware of that. There's a lot of things going on down this road. Do I want to go through here?
Ow. If I just stop. Seems fine. Did we have to beat that or something? Oh, I think we have to beat that. Oh, lame. Can I try again? <laughs> Can I try again? Maybe. Let's go back. Right. You ready? You ready? Guess we'll see. It doesn't seem to be zapping. Don't know if we only get two goes. No, it's okay. Yay! We earned it. And again? Yep. 60 miles an hour and we're charging our battery. Told you. Nice. And it's just fast enough for this job. Uh, I'm prepared to be... Uh, grabbed by that. trying to get me. Yeah, trying to get me. But I was ready for it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Was that supposed to happen? I don't know. That was cool. Is that the way? Is that what you do? Where are we? Over there? <laughs> what the heck? I didn't get any of the limb. Still, we're in this town. Is this an excellent place? I haven't found any of the things I was here for, by the way. I don't really fancy losing these places that have always got the same things, but... And this looks like a dead end, yeah, okay. What I want is new stuff that I've not seen before. Not just endless loots of the same five items, right? What? Why can't I get in here? Right. For example, what I have not seen before is a... Ouch. <laughs> a thing you can't get into. By driving. It's not that exciting, but... Having no... Ah, oh, entry. It's vaguely interesting. I think there's a headlight available as well, like, literally goes on your f face. So you can see where you're going. Uh, like a torch. So you can turn it on and off. Oh, there's always a bit of, uh, of radiation. I'm not sure if that's the case, but if it is, that'd be really handy. Job done. Okay. One side. Strange country. Now. Oh, I left the blinking engine on. I forgot. Well, I guess we'll have to fix that. I will fix it now, actually. Because if I'm lucky, I will find somewhere to refill these. And I will do so. Also, note, not perpetual stability. Um, so, we do expect at some point... The storm will come in, and I don't want it to, but it will happen. Flip your neck. Uh, don't, don't rain on me. There's always rain on me. Right. Uh. Okay. This is the... Okay, this is where we're leaving from. <laughs> I remember. What is this, then? Uh, no, thank you. Step away. We stay too long. We've outstayed our welcome. That's fine. I understand. Ooh. Yes, please.
Não é realmente? Não. Thank you. Prepare stop. For all your hard work. Mildly disappointing, but it's definitely the only way in. Look at that. Also, I believe this might be the only way out. <laughs> well, in for a penny. Ah, uh, you really? I don't think so. Hang on. We'll probably go down here. Slightly safely. So what is this road or a lake? Oh, these are the checkpoints look that we had to make it through. Yeah, I still kind of want to get the limb, don't I? That was fun. The reward was a kind of meh. It was a, but the. That's this game, right? The rewards are kind of meh, because there's not that much stuff available in the first place. Like, all the cool rewards are basically for the car, the decorations and stuff. Dumpster pills. Dumpster pills are fun, but they still give you the same... <laughs> like They turn into the exact sort of stuff that you can loot. It's just a more fun way of getting it. What was that? Um, so we're going across this for now. Well, this is the stuff that drinks fuel. Why are you going through it? Never mind. Job done. What is this? Oh, you're that thing that loves stuff that tries to hurt you. Let's have a quick, uh, turn the car off. Have we seen that thing? Is it like a... Have we... No. Belching barnacle. Ah, we needed to scan that, so that was good times. We should also not be near it. <laughs> sure, definitely. Absolutely should be gone somewhere else right now. We will be going back here very soon. A bit surprised I haven't found any marsh eggs or anything. Let's try not to anger that pickpocket as well. I don't know what they do, but it very much told me never to get on the wrong side of it, so I'm going to try and honor that. Eyes peeled for fuel. The low on fuel. We're not going to make it. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to go. Maybe we can get to the end of this road and still open that gate. I think we might be too close. But it's worth trying. I think. Ooh, I see a place with marsh eggs. Oh, jeez. Not sure about this barnacle, though. Let me out. That's very far that you're throwing those things, Sunshine. I will have you know. Turn this on. Drive back this way. Onto the road. Don't mind. More marsh eggs. Should we get them? Oh, jeez. I don't like being this close to that. Also, I'm too close to the other. Oh, no. me through. Right. Oh, no. 
Who really drove into that and all? Okay, let's go. Back here a bit. Somewhere over here we were able to open this gate. Okay, there we go. Right, open this. Leave. <laughs> Don't worry about that blistering barnacle. That'll be fine. Right on the corner though, isn't it? A bit rude. Just follow your way to the exit before you run out of fuel. Not quite sure what you do when you run out of fuel. How do you leave? <laughs> I guess you don't. Now what happens? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's empty. Car's empty. Hmm. I mean, I know you can do this, and you can abandon the trip. Let's. We should find out. Let's not. Let's not cower. There's learning to be done. But if we're going to run around like this, we should run around with fuel tank. Also, do these cars have... <gasps> Never thought of that. Hang on. Do these dead cars have fuel in? Ooh. Yes. That this fuel can that I've got in my hand has fuel in it. What's the matter with you? Alright, we'll survive this. Don't worry about it. Shut this. Fill this. The red storm is fine. Just ignore the red storm. It's okay. Everything will die slowly, but that's fine. Uh, is the car back on? No. Turn the car on. And just leave. <laughs> Get out. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. Don't worry about the red storm. Follow the road, because the water will slow you down considerably. There's a lot of fuel in those cars by the side of the road, by the way. Had not realised that. Uh, it's slow, and I'm very vulnerable, but we're okay. We've made it. Really have to remember that, to be fair. That's a lot of fuel. Alive, you see? What could go wrong? If you spend any longer in this storm, you'll soon learn what it's like to have every bone separated from your body. Don't worry about it. Right. Not this. Let's get out. <laughs> Alright. How are we doing? We're alive. Fill this one back up. Can we fill it while it's in the boot? Specifically this one. Yeah. Right, uh, I guess we'll be back in a minute while I reset the car and go for another trip, right? <clears throat> Let's read this. It's beeping at me. What's wrong with all my questions? Do the questions ever say, man? What's happening with all the test dummies in the zone? What was Raymond doing with his hands? How did the old ladies... Turn into Russians, apparently. Um, and let's also see what is in here. It's a big one. Oh, <laughs> I thought that came out. Okay, fine. It's a lot of resources. What is all this? Sword shifter? I've got a new shifter. Let's see what it comes with. Uh, what? See what it looks like. What's this? Yeah. That looks way cooler than that weird 
be an ag monster. So we learned a blowtorch, which is why I needed a lot of marsh eggs, because one one blowtorch uses up all my marsh eggs. So I think for now... Oh, we've got... I'll make some repair putty and a blowtorch, because I think that the repair putty is better for e.g. the wheels. I think the blowtorch is better for these panels. Uh, that's wrecked. So, ah, that's wrecked. We can make these, I think. Did I not just learn to make insulated headlights as well? Yeah, I learned to make insulated headlights. So we should just make another one of them. Um... <clears throat> Let's learn armor panels, can we? Yes. See, I keep saying that we should, you know, put some in to repair whilst we're out and leave some behind so that we can swap them out. And then I accidentally made another one of the armored doors and I'm not doing it. So, I guess... That is nonsense. Right. Let's go out again, because I, I wasted all the... I, I forgot to record, so I've only got half an hour of footage. Uh, and we'll do the same thing. So we've just unlocked this. We want to go here, apparently. <laughs> Although now I'm wondering if we just go here anyway, because this place is now horribly unstable from the activity we just did. Or possibly just, it's horrible. Um, I don't know what... That... Icon looks like? Is it killing my engine, maybe? I don't know. Let's scan it. Acid devours fuel. Oh, we've been there. That's why I thought that acid blob sapped my fuel. Because the first time we encountered it, it literally was. Um... So we have to learn about this one. It's a apparently it's a, a road chef, a research facility. Okay, um, or we could go here and possibly if we go here, then this will sort of cool down. But I'm not sure that's ever going to be the case. Where's the highway? It's from there to there. It doesn't even get us here any quicker. Ah, oh, I'm not so worried about that actually. I'm going this way then because. That was scary, basically. Um, and shocking speed. Huh? Oh god, I hate that. Um, yeah. Having to get there via... Well, it's only via this, but you know what I mean. It's, it's... We might as well learn something if we're going to do that sort of thing. And I don't want to spend any more time than I have to in that extreme instability cloud. Yeah, randoming. Is it, it's only three hours of... Uh, Highway driving, but we've still got a random encounter, so it must be the length of it. These zones seem anomalous to me, because they... They don't seem to have anything wrong with them. They just exist halfway along a highway. They don't have limb... They don't have stability anchors. And yet they have stability. Okay. Here we are. Extreme conditions. Right. This is shocking speed, which we don't like. Part of me thinks we could just go straight down. We just not stay long? Oh, it's up. That's annoying. They thought of this. They saw me coming, didn't they? They know who plays this game. Is it up? It's not up. It's down. So how about we just don't... They didn't see me coming. Game you have failed to consider. Players. <laughs> Use my handbrake. And we're out. <laughs> Bye, temporary zone. I didn't need you. Oh, that was great. Next. Right, here we go. We could go here. Do not enter. Alright, I won't go there. We've learned about everything that exists here, and the Warrens is just a whole bunch of extra bunnies, it looks like, I suppose. But that's fine. This is a Zone 1 sort of situation. We're, we're experienced now. We're, we're veterans of this situation. It's a cakewalk for us.
A drive in the park. It, it did occur to me that when we scanned the checkpoints in that last run that we did at the end, when we had to go really fast, um, it occurred to me that we probably haven't scanned the che these checkpoints. I wonder if this is the same as that one. Or is this a... Yeah, so I scanned that on the way through just now. We can read the lore of it in a minute when we've done this. So this is going to be a get the limb and go sort of situation. Maybe we loot something as well? Yeah, why not? Um, and we've learned about, presumably, the Warrens. There's going to be a whole bunch of bunnies jumping at us. Luckily it's not also shocking speed. That would be a horrible combination. Not, look, not, not a fan of that combination. Ooh. Sure. You know what? <laughs> oh. Oi! <laughs> Rude. I mean, this place is called the Warrens. And it implied that there was a whole bunch of extra shocking bouncy bunny things, but I've driven quite a long way to get from the last limb to this limb, and all I've been zapped by <laughs> is uh, is tourists. There was a bouncing bunny, but I wouldn't expect uh, it's not especially more bunny than normal bunny quantity. You should be bunny. Army. There's a lot of zappy here, but also it's not electricity go speed speed, so I'm not too bothered by the zappy. It's hurting the car a little bit, but it's also charging me up a little bit, so. Bothered, really? Uh oh. Well, that really charges me up when it actually dissipates, but in the meantime, it's a bit rude. Actually, seemed to be costing me electricity. Well, that could have just been my uh, lights being on. I believe we are currently maximally protected from electricity in our human form. Um, okay-ishly protected from it in, luckily, uh, in car form. So it hurts. <laughs> right, that's it. Mm. I'm not sure which direction that is. I think it might be downhill. In which case, bring it on. Not that we're particularly worried about trying to get out of these places. Like, the gateways in this world are easy. Let's just do it. See you on the other side. Storm incoming. Probably quite slowly. Didn't see very many bunnies at all. I'm a bit disappointed. And it is downhill. I said I'd see you on the other side, but I'm still talking, so I guess you're still here. We know this. Gently does it. Careful. Crash. There we go. Slightly terrifying, but we're good. Crash. That's fine. You wouldn't even know you were in the first storm, huh? Oh, we 
got a little bit of the way, but we haven't got to our destination, and I think that's enough recording for today. So, probably in the next episode, we'll uh, try and make that last jump to that last destination. We'll have a look at the map quickly, because what I would like to know is... Um, has the fog cleared? She's got something sarky to say every dang time. Shut up. Also, turn the engine off. <laughs> Right. What do you mean? Why do you keep putting the dumpster quest back on me? I'm, I'm old. Don't need to give me childish things. Why did that pump say that it was running low? That was not full. It's not full. Maybe it's never been full. I don't know. We're going to have a quick look at the map before we go. Uh, some of the cloud has dissipated, but this one hasn't, which was the one that I was least friendly on. But then there's one here as well, which is where we just were. I guess the gateway and instability dissipates over time. That is my assumption here. So we've created instability by opening a gateway here. And presumably we opened one here at some point, or maybe it's just randomly sort of fuzzing around and that's fine. But we, we did just open one here. And this is uh, Sierra. Yeah, so that's going to be have us permanent problem because of the cappy, right? Um, so we should probably go this way next time because we get two and then a third opportunity to get unstable energy and a few opportunities to get uh, uh, marsh stuff and uh, so we can make this, that and the other. Um, I don't like this being open all the time. So... I love how the lights go down, but the important things stay on. There's a few things that I want to learn in here that I will do off camera. Some of which, one of which, remember, involved uh, researching. Was it some of the car body that involved researching? Uh, there was a, there was a, some sort of anomaly. Look at these blacksmith moldy balloon. They must be in the corrupted. This one is unstable energy and needs a moldy balloon, so that must be in the second tier. Um, that there was a, an anomaly that I don't remember the name of. <laughs> uh, Balching Barnacle, there we go. We've already unlocked it. That's why we couldn't have armoured panels before. We need to find that Balching Barnacle, which we did. So, uh, still don't know about Tinker Station. Uh, and that's pretty much everything I've got to say. So if you're leaving me now before the Lord dump, then I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time, hopefully, when we try to get to our actual quest destination. But if you are still with me, then without further adieu, which is the wrong thing to say, but it probably annoys a lot of people, let's read this. Newsflash Elmer, September 20th, 1966. After this summer's exponential increase in seismic activity, geologists now believe we may be witnessing the formation of a new volcano or even a chain of volcanoes across the Olympic Peninsula. It's still unknown what's behind this unprecedented for help. Four, 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 four. It's basically hex, but hex uses pluses. Uh, and then we will read... From here, we didn't unlock too much, so we haven't got too much to look at. I think car frame it's been around since time began, but I've not scanned it before. Journal fragment date unknown. There's nothing left now. Nothing, nothing at all. The radios are dead. Every electronic device has shorted or failed. The very last scraps of food are so rotten, not even a rat would scavenge them. Not that I've even seen a rat in this place in years. I haven't found anything close to a functional car within 20 square miles. I have. Rubber perishes so rapidly. Metal rusts or is irradiated or both. I'm down to my last few drops of gasoline. Not that the generator has anything to power beyond a handful of light bulbs. And if I try to repair anything, those anomalies will pull it apart within a day. I think the others have evacuated without me. I can't blame them. They probably, didn't think, I, they probably think I didn't make it. Our team leader didn't. The second army escort didn't. Even that bug watch report woman and her crew were just... Their car has now been picked apart too. But there's more places we haven't found it. Uh, Belching Barnacle. That's what we learned today. Our debriefing recorded March 26th, 1966. Alright people, first of all, we have to stop calling these things geezers. A geezer launches a jet of water, not gas. These things are blasting warm air and whatever goo this is. Got that? Have you got that? Second, whatever you do, do not try to enter one. These things go deep 
Turns out the zone isn't just wrecking things above ground, and these are some kind of thin fissure, resulting from the Earth's crust being scrambled up. They're blasting jets of warm air from as far down as the mantle. Third, these might not be entirely bad news. We think they're acting almost like a valve that prevents greater pressure from building. This may be why the geological activity we expect in the Pacific Northwest has decreased. We hope to know more soon. In the meantime, not geezers, okay? Stop calling them geezers, please. Huh? What did you say over there? Yeah, sure, that. Sure, they look like that. Call them barnacles. Whatever. Grand the Warrens. Bunny anomalies run rampant in this part of the zone. Uh, hmm, well, hmm. Circuit gate. Arda briefing recorded November 25th, 1969. We've been considering repurposing the early anomaly barricade technology. We've invested incredible amounts of time, money, and resources into this project, and while it may not work as intended, we've still developed something that has intriguing potential applications. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about those today. But first, it's been brought to my attention that some engineers have reconfigured our prototypes to exhibit, shall we say, various whimsical behaviours. Together we have created a responsive reactive system that is context sensitive. Please, these things aren't supposed to be used for racing checkpoints, jack-in-the-box jokes or visual gags. I don't need to know who has been re-engineering these, but I will need you to stop, do you understand? Okay, if you'll take a look at page three of the briefs I'm handing out, we can begin. So, in theory, these circuit gates, and I know this because Avak found one early in his series, can be found in the zone, not just where we did find them. And the people making races reference here is that you can find one and have to race it along the road by the exact same mechanism, except it's not a long straight road and then, you know, something pops up at the end of it. Access checkpoint which have also been around since day one, but I've only just scanned them. Once upon a time, zone travel was heavily monitored. As instances of instability and unpredictable weather increased, regular checkpoints were installed not only for security, but, to but also to track movement to ensure employees were journeying safely through the region. They allowed ARDA to monitor each vehicle and send out search teams to find any that had not recently checked in. Unstable reasons, unstable regions could even be closed off and safe routes opened up in response to the ever-changing hazards of the zone. Trespassing may have been one kind of problem, but in an increasingly unpredictable corner of the world that was soon eclipsed by lost or missing colleagues and equipment. These days, the few remaining zone inhabitants use the still-functioning, still-reliable access markers to determine which roads are stable enough to travel on. Right, so if they're not working, then you don't go there, basically. Utilities. A trunk in the trunk. To add insult to injury, 250 years after winning their independence, Americans nationwide are enjoying bigger trunks than ever before. The trunk of one American car can easily fit six British vehicles. Possibly true. Because we have restraint. Carbon fibre and fibreglass synthesised into a new material with a remarkably high resistance to both heat and chemicals, good for those who don't enjoy being dissolved. I learned carbon fibreglass because it is a prerequisite for something else, and I can't remember what, but I haven't learned that. Personal airbag. Want to look like a portable pillow? While this is hardly the height of fashion, it's an extremely effective way to reduce bruising and broken bones. If the zone keeps beating you up, this will substantially soften the blues. We also got some gloves. Have you ever wanted to handle something that's brimming with electrical energy, but at the same time avoid excruciating pain? In that case, insulating your gloves will make all the difference. Uh, an undisco a newly discovered... Oh, it's at the top, look. I newly discovered one of these. There we go. Charged. Full of juice. A recent arc discharge or blast of electricity has filled this with a hair bristling amount of energy. It'll discharge itself in time, but until then it's probably not a good idea to get this wet. And you may see some unusual behaviours. I don't know why I have not scanned. Maybe you have to scan a charged thing and I've just not. Mirror ornaments. The blimp. A reminder of the time that you sailed through the skies in a craft of your own creation. Surely it wasn't just a dream. Shifters. Sword shifter. Don't worry, there isn't a pointy end. Oh, that would have been fun. Having a top pointy bit instead of the, the, the pommel. There it is, number seven. I figured it out. Remember when President Koch visited the zone and he said it was good to be back again? People thought that was a reference to him being a Washington senator. It wasn't. They used the word anomaly to describe strange signs and smells, right? I think the president is one too. He's like... The king of these anomalies. 
The reason they hired so many scientists and engineers to work there is to manage all those anomalies for him. Another thing, when the president went in, he didn't actually come out again. It's a body double. Someone they gave plastic surgery suit to look like it. You can tell from the curvature of his ears. Also, if you look at pictures of Koch from a few years before, he doesn't have grey hair. But now he does. How else can you explain that? How else? Indeed. Well, that's the law dump for today. We also listened to some on the road, so I'm not going to go through that again, but I'm going to say thank you for watching this time. I'm going to say I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you will join me in the next one whenever it may be that I can uh, find the time to record such a thing. But it will happen, I assure you. And until then, I'm going to say once more, thank you for watching and I will see you. Bye.